there may be changes right. come January. I mean, right. unless someone right. has, you know, some brief comments or remarks right. that we that may benefit us in right. our deliberations. Right. But if, if there are changes, right. So you know. yes, sir. I, I'm just I'm looking at Mr. Holberg and then Mr. I'm sorry. I'm looking at administratively. It might it probably would make sense to deal with everything in completeness. On the other hand, I'm looking at Mr. Holberg and Mr. Cancro and trying to imagine myself in their position. So I'd like to get uh, to, to see what they had to say about, about the idea. Mr. Holberg, Council President, uh, just to reiterate uh, what Mr. Lair said, you have advertised that there's going to be a public hearing on this amendment mm -hmm. tonight. So it, I mean, it certainly wouldn't harm to have uh, the public present their views mm -hmm. on this particular amendment. Mm -hmm. And I would just remind you that each amendment is standalone, so that if there's to be another amendment, there would be another hearing on the merits of that particular amendment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this amendment has been introduced. It's a relatively simple amendment. You know, it really only deals right. with one item. Right. Um, and and you know, the public hearing on this amendment should really be limited just to the merits of that one Correct. small okay. component. So okay. it, it's really up to, to you whether you yeah. want to continue with it or not. Okay, we can do that. Since we, uh, my thinking is since we did advertise for it, we can do it and restrict the comments strictly to the amendment. Fair enough. Good. Okay. Well, doesn't matter. We can we can talk about it. It's nothing well, 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 Right. Well, okay. Well, you're 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 right, Mr. Stevens, and um, to a degree. Um, but you know, our concern was we advertised it. We wanted to be fair to the public. So if the public wanted to say something tonight, we could say it. We didn't say we we're going to close the public hearing on it. Right, right, right. I, s I just stated that five minutes ago. We're just, we're just trying to be. I'm sorry, sir. Right. Right. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying, sir. We were just going to open it up. We didn't say we were going to close it. We did it because we said we were going to do uh, certified, but we can still talk about it. Okay. Thank you. That's right. Well, th just just to make it clear, mm -hmm. Council President, sure. there's a difference between a public hearing and an adoption. I'm mm -hmm. not suggesting you adopt it. Right. You can't do that, but you certainly can have a public hearing. On sure. It. Sure. We can talk about it. All right. All right, so that goes for the public hearing on the amendment. Any other comments on that? Final adoption, we talked. We just talked on that. Nothing's gonna happen for a while. Reports from all committees. I'll start to my left, Councilwoman Rosigliano. Um, yes, Council President. Um, just uh, briefly, Veterans Committee. Um, I received correspondence from um, Commander at uh, 435. Uh, he was down at the boat dock this morning. Uh, actually, it was December 17th, I'm sorry. And um, there's an American flag and a US Marine Corps flag on the pavilion. And he said both are nothing but flying rags and they need to be replaced. Uh, he wanted to know if we could do anything about that. A lot of people go down there and it really does not look um, very good as it is. So is that something that can be addressed, Council President? Okay, ma'am. Okay, and the second thing, um, I received uh, correspondence from uh, the Rolling Thunder, uh, the Ride for Freedom. And um, they're, uh, one of the, um, the things that they're concerned about is the um, many uh, new veterans are being discharged prematurely from VA hospitals with immature disability disorder. And the, they don't feel that the uh, Defense Department is handling it um, as it should. Uh, they're asking that we um, email or send letters to our senators and Congress people um, expressing our concern and the fact that we support uh, veterans' rights and I'd like to um, pass this over, if I may, to uh, 
Mr. Harding, and perhaps by our next meeting, uh, if everyone is in agreement, we can put together a resolution uh, supporting um, the veterans coming back from, from service. And on a personal note, one of my daughters is a physician assistant at the Veterans Hospital uh, in, at Lyons. And uh, she said the number of um, those with post-traumatic stress disorder, young men, it, it's, uh, young men and women is really very distressing. She happens to work in psychiatry. And they're limited in what they can do because sometimes policies have to change. They do the best they can, but uh, so if, if Mr. Harding perhaps could put a resolution together uh, that we could even send to other municipalities and just asking for support. Other municipalities may have received this, this letter as well, um, but um, if, if that's all right, I'd like to do that. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, ma'am. Councilwoman Perlstein. Council President, thank you. I, I just wanted to mention that the um, Environmental Commission was reestablished, and they will meet the third Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. in the Edison meeting room on the second floor, and public notice was sent out. Thank you, Clerk, Madam Clerk. And um, it will also be, tell, um, the schedule will be, will be on the, um, both the website and on the television for any of those who are interested. Thank you. Okay. Council Vice President. Uh, Council President, <clears throat> um, I'm in the process of trying to get a meeting together for the property maintenance um, division. We, we have some concerns and we're gonna try to work some things out. Also too, I'd like to um, let you know that the finance committee will be producing a, an amendment to the budget also. So something will be coming f forward from the Finance Committee. Okay. And just let you know that. That's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Councilman Massaro. Uh, based upon the information you provided me at the start of the meeting, Council President, I will be uh, contacting the PBA rep uh, tomorrow morning to set up a, a public safety meeting, obviously um, in conjunction with um, Councilman Muscola and Councilman Prasad's calendar and availability also. Thank you, sir. Anything else, sir? Councilwoman Griffin, who's Not at this time. Okay. Okay, points of light. I'll start to my right, or I'll just open it up. Anybody want to say anything? Yes, Council President. Yes, um, I'd like to, um, knowing that uh, Mr. Halberg will be leaving us soon, and although your time with us was um, short-lived, we've learned a lot from you. You were a pleasure to work with. Um, I'd like you to just come up I've been told we have a little bit of a tradition of mugging people when they are, have been with us for a while, so I'd like to mug you tonight. Mr. Holberg has the pleasure of working now 1,200 feet from where he lives. <laughs> Anything else, ma'am? That was terrific. No, just happy holidays, happy new year to everyone. Okay. Council Vice President? Nothing for me, sir. Councilwoman Preston? Yes, I'd just like to wish everyone a very happy and healthy holiday season and all the best in the new year. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Councilwoman Sigliano? Okay, Councilman Massaro? No, sir. Okay, um, one point of light is that uh, we were a couple minutes late arriving here today, several of us, because we did attend the opening of the menorah lighting uh, at the JCC on Oak Tree Road, and it was very well attended. It looked like it was gonna be a real good time. It's unfortunate when there are so many events scheduled by the township, it, it makes it difficult to go to everything, and. Uh, but it looked like uh, it was off to a good start, and we want to wish everyone a very happy holiday. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays. At this time, we have a council appointment, and we'd like to invite up Shirley Bishop to uh, talk to us about COA. Uh, 